Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Maker with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages and everybody in between, today we're going to be talking about morale. Uh, but first off, what we're going to do is we're going to re reply to Flamehawks here who's in our alliance, uh, actually lives quite close to me, just one suburb over in, here in Melbourne. Uh, yep. I get uh, Sundays and Mondays off. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, today we're going to be talking about morale. Okay, so how do we find our morale? That is very easy to do. You can see up here there's a little smiley face. If we click on that smiley face, it is going to show us our army morale, uh, our city status, so, you can, uh, so to speak. As you can see, we are currently depressed, which offers a massive, massive negative buff to us. So every action we take within the game and actions that are taken against us will affect our morale. Um, and obviously, what we would like to do is be either neutral, but more uh, we would love to be ecstatic okay because you can see that there right here it's going to add these massive massive buffs obviously being depressed is adding these incredibly incredibly <laughs> hardcore negative buffs minus 50 percent unit attack minus 50 percent health this is effectively means that if i attack anybody uh anywhere close to my level i'm going to lose uh, even somebody half my my power is probably going to beat me as well now why are we depressed well Last night, me and the uh, Alliance decided that we'd cause a little bit of havoc, and we wanted to try and learn some some attacking tactics, so to speak. So we attacked another Alliance, who promptly turned around and beat the crap out of us. <laughs> and it was awesome fun. Um, they, they weren't that happy about it, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I saw it very much as a, a very fun opportunity to learn. The, uh, the enemy Alliance definitely t thought it was a little bit rude of me. <laughs> um, however, they did bust our asses quite hardcore but if you can see down here my current morale drivers so what's affecting my morale is that my unfair attacks unfair reinforcements uh, basically attacking lower level players and continuously attacking them um, did not help me whatsoever now these morale drivers do have a time limit as we can see here five hours ten hours ten hours so eventually these things will disappear and my morale will slowly improve over time. However, there are a couple of other things we can do in order to improve our morale. Um, number one, obviously, is not to attack lower level players <laughs> uh, because that will affect. You can see that very simply if we come over here and say, let's click on uh, somebody who's a lower level, this guy here. And if I say attack, it's going to pop up immediately. Uh, this city is only level 13. You will take a 2% morale hit on attacking them. Now, yesterday, I attacked some people over here. Um, this guy, especially Nebulous. Uh, and that was a very big morale hit. What is it? Minus 12%? I actually think it was minus 29% yesterday. Uh, what the? Uh, yeah. Uh, I was just saying that's where I'm, I go and drink on my days off. <laughs> ah, interesting. Anyway, sorry, back to morale. So effectively attacking a lower level player is going to cause you some issues. Now, how can we improve our morale? Um, the main kind of way to improve our morale is time to get rid of those negative buffs. However, in the city, uh, if we place our houses within the walls, as we can see, they are here. If we place the houses within the walls, that gives us a 6% boost. I can demonstrate that for you now. If we pop in here and we go like a so, we can see plus 6% all houses in the wall. If I can move this, this house, pop, 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 like so, and go like a so, bam, that is taking away more morale. And we can see we've dropped uh, even more and we've lost that. We've now got a minus 1% for unprotected house, uh, which is not a good thing. So let's move this baby back inside, please. All right, move. There we go. Fantastic. Whoop, 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 whoop. Bam. 
Excellent. Okay, that's going to help us be happy. Now, does that help us more? No, okay, so it just went straight back. I was wondering if it's going to add a bigger one. No? Okay, cool. Now, other ways that we can improve our morale. Um, upgrading your keep will offer a permanent seven-day upgrade, and we can see that one here, 11% burgeoning kingdom. I upgraded my keep two days ago, so if we can upgrade our keep again within the next five days, I believe this will stack, so we will get a different, an, an extra bonus. Um, Increasing our population. So obviously the more population you have, uh, the less the percentage of them is going to be depressed, if you know what I mean. So obviously if we have 1,000 people and 50% depressed, our morale will be affected. Such If we have 2,000 people and 50% depressed, our morale will be affected in a different way. Um, so it is important to upgrade your thing. So one way to get out of this is to constantly upgrade your houses. Um, more babies. So having your nobles make some more babies. Babies at a instant uh, morale boost. Um, so if you can have some babies, that is a good thing. We currently can't do that <laughs> because these guys uh, captured uh, my my captain, uh, <laughs> which is quite annoying. Uh, but you know, shit happens. Uh, I, I, we'll get him back. I think I have to apologize for attacking them, and we'll get our guy back. Uh, so that's fine. Um, other than that, there are no other ways to increase your morale. Occasionally, within the events and the chests, and the uh, especially this thing here this bundle free chest uh this thing for sure will occasionally offer you a morale boost there'll be like a little token in there that's like plus six percent morale and your morale will go up uh so keep an eye on those as well however the main way to do it and the way this is designed is to stop you from hitting down so to stop larger higher level players from griefing smaller level players um the way to do that is to not attack lower level players and your morale won't take a boost, uh, won't take a hit. We obviously will just have to go and spend some time. So hopefully by tomorrow, my morale will have improved a little bit and hopefully I can get my keep upgraded pretty soon to keep level 16 and that should help as well. But there you go. That's just a little info about morale on how kind of important it is because effectively now I am, I cannot do any attacking. Uh, it would be a complete waste of time and everything's going to take longer and my unit healing speed is ages. Oh, it just effectively shuts me down for a day doing all of that negative attacking yesterday. Anyway, I hope that helped everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you have any comments or any uh, suggestions for things you would like explained. Um, I'm always happy to help and I'll catch you again in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.